everybody. Oh no, it's not focused on me. I swear I'm like the worst YouTuber. Okay. What's up, every guys? <laughs> What's up guys? Okay, literally, I don't know why I wasn't vlogging before. I had like no energy and all of a sudden I got a little burst of energy. So we're gonna do a little get ready with me. I love doing these where like we just don't have a set agenda. I don't really know if I should vlog like on the daily or like every other day. But today I am gonna get ready. <sighs> Let's just chat it out while I get ready, okay? So I'm getting ready because it's like two in the afternoon and this is typically when I go into the real world for the rest of the day. This is my new makeup pouch. I just got it from TJ Maxx and it's so cute. We're gonna do our makeup together. Actually, I don't even know if I should do it in here because the lighting's kind of whack. Let's go in here. It's like, okay, I think that works. Actually, don't know if I like this in the bathroom better, but oh well. This is like my little makeup case. I think I'm gonna do just like a very everyday makeup, show you guys what my everyday makeup looks like. So I take this tinted moisturizer from ColourPop. It's the Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer. Nothing ever focuses when I want it to. Okay, hello? Oh, I have to do the beauty guru thing. Okay, anyway. I use this, and I like it because it's a tinted moisturizer, so it's not like too crazy on the coverage. Because honestly, I don't like when my face feels like there's a ton of makeup on it. I just can't stand it. And because this is moisturizer, it's kind of like good. I usually just use concealer like everywhere on my face, but I lost my concealer the last time I was in LA. So I think it's in the hotel room that I stayed at. So that's fun. I just literally beat my face with it. Um, a whole new meaning to beat the face. Next, I, I like to take this bronzer and put it all over my face. It just makes me look more alive. TBH, um, there's a Harry Styles concert tonight and I don't know if I should go, you guys. I already went to go see him when he came to New York. So it's like, do I go again? You know, let me show you guys. I'm gonna put my bronzer on like here, but I do it very like very chaotically because I just like that look of like it being all over my skin. And I use it kind of like a blush too. Just my little tip. I like, like to just take my bronzer and just go over my cheek like a blush and then go into my temples and under my chin just to give that like a little contoured effect without contouring. I do the same thing on the other side. It just adds a lot of warmth to my face and it makes me look more alive, I think. But I get this big fluffy brush so that it doesn't like look so harsh because I'm very, very chaotic. And if I was using like a more dense brush, it would look like streaks down my face. So anyway, I kind of use this as a The entire blush just came out. It didn't shatter. Okay, I put it back in. We saved it. The whole blush fell out. Oh my God, I have to be careful. Oh no, that's so bad. Okay, I love this blush. I really hope that doesn't happen. I'm gonna take the blush. <laughs> it fell like right side up, so it didn't touch the ground. And I'm just gonna apply this onto my cheeks. And this blush has like a glow to it, so it's really good. Like it just kind of works as a highlighter. And I really like the way this makes my skin glow. So I just use the blush with the highlighter built in my cheeks. And I really, really like this. This is like so pretty. I don't think you can really tell. You can tell on my nose a little bit. See that like shine it gives and like, okay. Now you can see it. It's so pretty and it makes me feel so pretty. I just love this like minimal glowy effect that it gives. So I kind of do that and then I'm just gonna blend it all over my face being really, really generous because it just looks better when I do it like this. It gives my skin like a radiant glow from within and I usually don't like glow because I have oily skin, but this is like subtle. For my eyes when I'm being lazy, I take the same exact palette and I just go over my eyelids with the blush um, because this blush highlight is a beautiful, let me show you guys, gorgeous. Um, and I just kind of put it all over my eyelid for like literally just a wash of color that is super, super natural looking but it has like a little bit of tint. Do you see that? Look at the difference. So now this eye has like a little bit of like shimmer and it's like a little rosy. I really like the way it looks, but it looks similar to my eyelid already. So it's not too crazy when I put it all over. Okay, I love that. I just really, really, really like this blush shade. If you can't tell, I literally put it all over my face, put it all over my eye. 
Then I take my eyelash card off. <laughs> Maybe I'll go take Instagram pictures. I struggle a lot with like having so much free time because I'm like, what do I do with myself? Like I really have been hanging out with myself a lot, which I think is like a good thing because hanging out alone, it just, it's like a whole different skill that I think everybody needs to acquire at some point. Like when you're a teenager, you don't do it enough. Like at least I always hung out with friends. So like I never hung out alone. And like now I'm just like, oh my God, this is so important for my health. Like I freaking love being alone now. So it's crazy. I'm gonna brush through my eyebrows. I brush them up like that. Don't really have a lot of eyebrows. So I work with what I can. And then I'm gonna take my little brow pencil. Okay, my little brow pencil. And I just kind of draw a rough outline of where I want my brows to lay. Like I do it with a really, really light hand. And I just kind of like draw on where I need more coverage, but I only do the ends at first. To do the ends first, because it's the darkest part. Then, after tails are done, I call them my tails. Okay, I had to delete footage so I could keep filming. All right, I, what was I gonna say? My natural hair actually looks cute today, so I don't even know if I'm gonna straighten it. It's kind of cute, kind of vibes. Okay, anyway, then I take, oh, I was doing my eyebrows. So I take this eyebrow pencil, it's from um, Elf, and I love it, and it's so good. So what you're gonna do is like, this is the important part. I just draw a line where I want them to start. Then you can just do little strokes up just along the brow to kind of like build out the eyebrow. Right now, it looks like there's little streaks everywhere and it looks really not natural, but hold on a second and I'll blend it out. So yeah, I just kind of do it where I want them. And then once they're kind of like this, like they're a little bit too much, I go in with the brush and I brush them. Get rid of all the stroke lines, and then boom. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Blend them out. <laughs> what were they trying to say there? And then sometimes I'll go in with this. Another thing I like to use, and it's from NYX, and it's this little eyebrow pencil thing. Uh, stroke tool, and you can use this to make like little hair like, little hair like strokes. It works really well for that. Tiny, tiny, tiny tip. And then my brows look like this, and again, they look dark. Do not forget to blend out your brows. That would be my, my one tip that would be super important. And I brush them up now. I just really like that look. I used to hate it, but now I love it. So now that my lashes are already curled, so I'm gonna put on mascara. And I have been using new mascaras recently. I've been trying out so many new ones instead of sticking to my comfort zone, which is like kind of good, kind of fresh. So right now, I'm using this one from Kat Von D that I got sent. And it's this one, and it looks like this, and it's big and chunky. And it says, go big or go home. I think that's what it's called. And then, oh, you know what I like to do? Oh, I take this liner, and I draw a tiny wing. Literally so small. And it just wings out your eye. It looks so pretty. But it's so subtle. And that's what I'm all about is like subtle makeup. Like I don't want you to know why I look good. Like I don't want you to look at my face and be like, oh, she looks good because she has a winged eyeliner. She looks good because she has good eyeshadow. No, I want it to be so natural that you don't really know why I'm pretty, but I just am. I kind of take that and do little strokes to create a mini wing. Okay, and then I kind of do my lash line a little bit like that. Looks so good with the mascara. It's a big chonky one, not gonna lie. Um, I kind of love it though. I've been using it. It's I don't know, I have mixed emotions. I like to mix this with a different mascara. That's kind of my favorite way to do my makeup is to mix mascaras together because then you just get the best of both worlds for everything, okay? As you can see, it's not much. Um, then I'll go in with the chunky side of the brush. This brush is good because as you can see, like at the end of it, it's more chunky right there. And at the front of it, it's more like narrow. So you can like add whatever you want. Like the narrow side, if you want length, I use the narrow side. And then if I think it needs more volume, I'll use the end of it. So that's that. Then, if I feel like that's not enough, I take my second mascara. Like that looks good. I could stop there. It's kind of very light and it helps to declump. It's the Maybelline Lash Lift. I saw this on TikTok and people were like, I love this mascara. So then I tried it, but I feel like it's better for layering than on its own. <laughs> so I like this one a lot just for that. I just to add a final touch. Look at that, look at that. 
They're so separated. And I hate when you're trying to layer mascara and it gets super duper clumpy. Just doing the bottom lashes. I really don't know what I'm gonna do with my day today, but hopefully I'll do something fun. I've been walking so much while I'm here and like I'll literally just walk for miles and miles. Like I'm not even joking. But like I have to be careful because some areas are not that safe and I'm just like, I do be walking everywhere. Next, I'm just gonna fix my brow right there. It was bothering me. Okay. That is my basic routine and then I always forget lips. So I use, well right now I have Laneige Lip Mask on in the grapefruit flavor. And I'm gonna take this like really natural lip balm. It was sent to me. It's just lavender vanilla. It's from Lavande, I think that's the brand. And I'm just gonna layer that on top. Extra hydration. I'm a girl that just likes lip balm to be honest. But I have two favorites recently for go-to lips. And one is the Rare Beauty Lip Lip Balm. I love this. It's so good. Um, obsessed. It literally just adds a little bit of color and it's a little bit brown tinted without, I think I have it in the color nearly neutral. And it adds just like a little bit of color and a little bit of darkness to your lips without being too much. And it's not sticky, it's so good. I actually like really recommend this. But if I don't want my lips to be darker and I want them to be a little bit lighter, I take her and this is the NYX Butter Gloss and I have it in the shade Sugar High. Obsessed. This is the cutest shade. As soon as I saw it at the store, I really wanted to put my lips to try it out. I had a feeling what it was gonna look like and then I got home and I put it on. Oh my God, it's so cute. And I have trouble putting on lip products that make my lips lighter than they are, but this does it in a good way and I'll show you. So this is my natural lip color, okay? This is the color of the lip gloss. It's just like a brownie, pinky, neutral, but it's light. It's a light pink brownie color. Okay, now watch. Do you see that? See that? It makes my lips like slightly lighter. So for every day, I like to go for this one because it just makes my lips like a little bit lighter and it's more better for like daytime, I would say. And it's just so cute. Like see that, it just adds like a little, little lip tint. Oh, and it makes them lighter. And I love that because it makes me feel like I have that bombshell look, like the light pink lip and the bronzy glowy skin and the dark eyes. I love that. Um, so that's been my makeup recently. That's, that's everything that I do. I don't know if I'm gonna do my hair today. I probably will. I always end up doing my hair. <laughs> it looks pretty though. It's kind of cute. That was my updated makeup routine. I literally love the way this comes out every time. It's so slay. It just, it's, it's giving. It's giving like this little bronzy, glowy. It's so pretty. I am obsessed with this makeup right now. Let me know any good products you guys want me to try in the comments because I will try them. And this is what it looks like. Um, yeah, that's my makeup. Hope you guys like that. <laughs> Thank you.